this video explains how we can install a uh, brew on your Mac system and also uh, after installation of the brew how you can execute several commands like searching for the packages and then installing the packages uninstalling the packages and also see the list of the packages that have been installed using brew so first thing that you have to do is you have to execute this command I will give you this uh, link in the description of this video so you have to execute this command that will install the uh, brew on your system once the uh, brew is installed you can execute this command brew doctor to check that you are ready to start using brew so you can see that your system is ready to brew now next thing that you want to do is you want to install the packages do packages so you can uh, first of all search for the package if you, do, if you are not sure about the package name that you want to install you can search for those packages using brew search command brew search let us say you want to search for git then it will search in the uh, formulas And if it is found, it will uh, tell uh, that this package exists. If it is not found, it will say the package doesn't exist. And uh, that's how you can search for the packages. Otherwise, you can also go to the Homebrew's uh, website where you can uh, browse the packages that are available to be installed using brew command. So meanwhile, this command executes. Let us move on to next thing that is installation and uninstallation of the package. Once you know the package name, you can un uh, install the package using this command brew install and then you have to give the package name there right in front of that that will install the package and uh, to uninstall the package you have to use brew uninstall or a brew or remove and then finally you have to give the package name so here you can see that there are several packages with the git in its name as you can see we have found so many packages so this formula means uh, these packages are available in the central uh, homebrew repository and uh, there are some other packages that are available in the casks repository so there can be several repositories uh, that a brew can use so by default it uses the central repository they also call it a formula and uh, if you want to use the cask you will have to install those casks I will explain that thing uh, later in the next videos but right now just uh, remember that you can search for the packages using brew search command now let us install uh, one package say zoo people this is one package that I will install so just uh, execute this command brew install and then package name and then it will start installing this uh, package So you can see that it is downloading from this website homebrew.bintray.com and it is installed it is also showing like exactly where it is installed user local seller it's zookeeper and also the size and number of files as well now uh, if you want to it will also give the description about this uh, particular package like how you can start using that package you can see that there is command view services start to people but I'm not gonna do anything with that package. I'm just gonna see if it is installed uh, using this command called as brew list, and it should display the package that we have just installed. You can see that zookeeper package is there, the right hand side. Now let us uninstall that. So uninstall relation is again a very easy process. Brew uninstall, or you can also use brew remove and then package name just hit enter and then it will remove that package so the package is uh, removed now if you see the brew list it should not be there so that's how we can install and uninstall the packages using this brew command and that's it just to recap things first of all you will have to to be able to use this brew command you will have to install this uh, brew itself using this command the first command and then uh, 
you know, use this brew doctor to see that you can use the brew, then uh, you can search the packages. This step is optional. If you know the package name, you can directly install this brew install and then do the package name. To uninstall the packages, you have to use this brew uninstall or remove and then package name. To see the list of the packages that have been installed using brew, you can use the brew list command. Thanks for watching this video.